Ciao. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We are in sheer madness on the Flower Festival, the official day of Tet Ciao. We are gonna walk around and take a look. It's pretty crazy. Ciao, Em. Chuck Mung Namoy. It's insane here. I'm not even kidding. You're gonna see as we try to walk through this thing. It's... I'm doing this because I love you guys. This is not something I choose to do on my own volition. This is uh, a bit hectic for me, pretty packed in. So, we'll do it for you. I love you guys. There's at least 100,000 people here, maybe 2 million. Maybe there's a billion from China too. Who knows? Let's take a look around. It's up. I'm already up 20 degrees. It's probably like. Feels like 90 in here now. No airflow, people pushing. I've never seen it like this. This is uh, this is a poor execution of this whole thing. If I would say so myself. Maybe how you would not want to do something. No. The problem is, is they put these fences and they like make you go through like a thing, like it's an amusement ride. But it, it doesn't work because everybody stops and takes a photo. <laughs> you know, it, it, they need to have people here, almost like coordinating people to take photos and then keep walking. You know, as crazy as that sounds, that's what needs to happen. This is, there's nowhere comfortable to walk right now. It's, you know, you're just jammed in here. Ford's going everywhere. Look at this. This is crazy. I don't recommend this. I'm doing this for you, but if I was a person right now, like being here, I would not want to, like me personally, this is not a comfortable thing. I'm getting pushed in behind from front, from left, from right. It's like a rave without any raves. This is like pure pandemonium, dude. Boyfriend taking a photo. Really, maybe not the time to take photos. It's okay. And look, it's the whole way like this. We gotta walk another 20 minutes like this. Like, there's no, you know, break from this. It's just more and more and more of this. Like, over and over. It's like trying to find a way through it. It's, it's pretty crazy. So like, I don't understand how Ho Chi Minh City doesn't see that this is kind of a problem. Why, why can't you take these barriers away, blow out all these guards like you used to? So like pre-2019, this was all open. So the whole street would be open right now. There would be no fences here to either side. And there wouldn't be all these people crammed in here because the whole street would be walking with the whole thing. So it's really, you know, this, this is a COVID thing that they're doing here, but like we're all jammed up next to each other. It's kind of anti whatever they think they're doing. So it just, they could just learn a lesson too. All I ask is take away the barriers. Go and take this stuff away. These trees all pull out by the way. These are temporary trees. I've seen them pull these trees out before. They can come and go. They're in a planter. So they can pull all this stuff out. So like, why not just blow the whole street open so it's just a really comfortable experience. I don't know how they think, I can't explain it. So, I just can give you the feedback as a guy that's here right now, like walking around in this thing. I think this is the coolest looking one. The dragon looks phenomenal, I'm not gonna lie, but I can't really see anything. Like, it's just, I have to constantly keep moving so I don't get stuck. This is the first, like, breath of fresh wind in five minutes out of this whole thing. We're only halfway there. We're not even at Sunwa building. Yet. So we still gotta go another, I mean, we're 25% there. We'll be lucky to make it through this thing on the time I have left on this uh, SD card. It's just, 
chaos almost. But like a control, I'm not like nervous or like worried. And this is the third year that we've had a Tet like this. So since COVID happened, Tet's been like this every year. This isn't a new experience. Like Tet pre-COVID was never this big of an experience because so many people would just leave and travel. So it's a bit different now, thanks to COVID in multiple ways, you know. This is wild. TTS is available and on. I do live stream every single day on kick.com forward slash ZBats, which is my last name, which is a phenomenal name. I also have a Patreon with so much additional content. If you want to see family Tet stuff, that's over at the patreon.com forward slash fat and bro. Everything's in my Louis Vuitton bag. I don't put anything in my pockets anymore. Everything's in bags. I got a Louis Louis Vuitton across my chest. All my shit. This is crazy. This is so bad. She's pretty. Mom's a good looking mom. Plenty of beautiful moms out there, boys and girls. It's an insane amount of people. I would be on a selfie stick right now for the live stream, but I'm shooting a YouTube video, so please give me a few minutes live stream. I will return you to the selfie uh, picture. Yeah, I mean, you shouldn't have anything in your pockets in Vietnam to begin with, so worrying about a pickpocket's paradise is for people that aren't intelligent. You know, there's not much worth seeing here, you know. The problem, like I said, I'm going to be honest with you. I love Vietnam. I love Saigon. I love Win Wei. But this is a problem. This isn't fun. There's nothing to see. There's too many people. And the problem is it's because of the cage, the fence that they put on. They put this fence on the outside so it pushes everybody inside. To what end? For what reason? It doesn't have to be this way. They need to get rid of that. Like, just open all the fences. Like, look, you got one over here that a pedestrian opened. And look, everybody's leaving out. Again, it doesn't make sense. I mean, this is crazy. It's getting more packed now as we go. I think it'll take another 15 minutes to get through here from the rate we're going. Like, everybody's stopping and taking photos, which I understand, dude. That's why you're here. But they're, they're not aware of people behind them, you know. This is a thing worldwide. Ciao, Em. A little breath of fresh air, finally. A little pocket. Like a little tiny pocket of fresh air. <clears throat> Back into the thick of it. This is wild, bro. It's just so poorly done. Like, who decided to put something in the middle here? No offense, but a not smart person put that in the middle, dude. You're gonna put shit in the middle? Why? For what reason? <laughs> Make it make sense that you're going to put stuff in the middle so we all have to walk around it. There's no way that that's a good idea. And then look, it just leads to like a traffic jam. I'm not complaining. I am pointing out exactly what's happening. If you want to consider this complaining, I don't know what to tell you. This is what I'm seeing as it's going on IRL, in the real world. I'm giving you an honest review of what it would be like to be here right now, you know? If you're okay with big crowds and everybody around you, it's awesome, you know? But for me, I, I haven't seen much. We saw the dragon in the middle, and that's really it. 
I can't see any of the things to the side because there's just too many people. And we're fenced in like cattle. So like we're fenced into this little narrow area. Like look how narrow of an area we're fenced into. So we're fenced in from this area to this area. For what reason? To protect flowers? Like you can't run five security guards? I mean this with peace and love, but it's not run up properly, dude. Like why, why are we fenced in? That's my biggest thing is why are we fenced in here? Why can't I walk around the whole thing? I mean, is it cool? Yeah, but like, dude, we're fenced in. And you got all these ladies taking photos and like stopping the entire thing to take one photo. Is it the right time for that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm going right. Left looks fucked. So left is incoming, this way traffic, right is this way traffic. So if you come up on this dragon, go right. Left is for coming out. It's just, it's designed so poorly this year because they put stuff in the middle. Like, you already run us out with a fence. So we've got like a, I don't know, 12 foot fence line. And you know, if something happened here, if, if, if like a car crashed into something, you're gonna have problems. There's nowhere to go. So it just creates like, there's not many countries outside of like somewhere like this that's gonna allow something like this. This is a safety issue. I mean it with peace and love. Like I'm an adventurous guy. I'm not worried about anything right now, but I mean, bro, it takes two minutes to walk from the beginning of Win Way to the end of it. And we're, what? 12 minutes in and we made it halfway. Not even, dude. I'm getting bumped, pushed. And there's no reason to bump or push me. You know? I'm not bumping, I haven't bumped or pushed anybody, but I've been bumped and pushed, I mean, probably 30 times since I've been in here now. And I have successfully not bumped or pushed anybody. So like, you know, you gotta kinda understand, it's like Vietnamese traffic, they're gonna bump, push, honk, <laughs> and try to get by, so. You gotta kinda just accept the flow. Overall, this is a beautiful festival. I'm gonna do the pros now. It looks great, it's tremendous. It's just a, a logistical problem of the people coming in, you know? smell deodorant, BO, perfume, other things, you know, it puts you in that close of a contact. I am mentally getting over it now, like I don't really want to walk the whole thing, but I will for you guys. Like, it's, it's tiring right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I turned my hat on backwards, so I have a reverse camera now, so we might switch between two different ca uh, cameras for the angle here. So now I've, I'm running a reverse camera on my six, and a 12 o'clock camera on my five. This is so fucked. Pardon my French, but fuck. White guy. <laughs> At least he didn't put an alley eye on. <laughs> the biggest thing is too many different perfumes. So you smell like a lot of different perfumes. It's the big thing, dude. I'm smelling so many different knockoff perfumes right now. It's, it's making me go not. It's not a fun smell. I can handle B.O. and shit, but like the knockoff perfumes is what's getting me. I 
I make these videos for you guys, you know? I'm, I'm here doing this for my viewership on YouTube because I love and appreciate you guys. And ultimately, this is super nice and fun. I'm just being realistic on what it is. I absolutely love you guys. I hope everyone has a very happy new year. Chuck Mung Nam Oi to all my VQs out there. Chuck Mung Nam Oi. Chuck Mung Nam Oi. To everybody out there, anywhere, my Asian peoples, whoever, even if you just celebrate and fuck with Lunar New Year, happy new year. I fuck with you all. I appreciate you all. You know? We're almost at the end. We're at the 80% way now we're at the end these two arches up here at the end so we're almost at the light of the tunnel it's really only bad the first 35 percent cx effect with that gifted sub let's go cx effect w in the chat sorry the speaker turned off wcx effect with that gifted sub thank you my guy thank you brother Sorry the speaker wasn't on. Speaker is back on. TTS is fully available. It turns off and we don't have anything happen for a while. So overall, this is a really fun festival. If you got anxiety about people, don't come here at night. If you want to walk around this festival where it's open and free, come here during the day. You're going to have an 80% less crowd. Vietnamese are terrified of the sun. So if you want to be okay and check it out, just come and do it during the day. We're almost there, boys. We got about 15% left, and girls. WCX effect again, but uh, yeah, the knockoff perfume. Oof. I don't like the knockoff perfume when it covers up like BO. Like, that's the worst. We got a big chokehold right here. Big problem right here. But I'll go through it. I'll take the time and go through it. We're running out of video footage, so I might have to start a new video. Three minutes. We got three minutes left. So hopefully we'll make it all the way to that. Thank you, CX Effect W, bro. Uh, now we're moving fast fun festival it is a fun festival but if you have anxiety and if you don't like people don't come at night if you want to come see it where there's not a lot of people and you feel okay come during the day when the sun is out that's that's the best i can tell you my guys yeah. badass on that one. with peace and love we're almost there how much longer we got on the video? For the sub, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gifted sub, baby. Thank you for that gifted sub. W on that gifted sub, Gus Newman. Thank you, bro. We got two minutes left. Can we make it to the end of this thing? Can we get through the whole entire festival in 20 minutes from start to go? We're almost there. W Gus, thank you for gifting CX Effect with a gifted sub, baby. We're almost at the end of the dragon, baby. Two minutes, can we make it? We gotta push through kind of aggressively. We gotta go too fast. But we're not gonna make it, but it's farther than it looks. It's another like 100 yards. Uh, it's about 100 yards, it's a football field away. We're gonna get through this thing. We've got a minute and 38 seconds left of data. So, we're trying as hard as we can to get through this thing. Hello, hello, I'm Mary. So don't worry about saying hello, hello to me. <laughs> Reverse camera is on, so we're gonna try to do a two camera shot on the end out of here. The boy's going against the frame. Big enough, everyone's gotta move. Two minutes. Oh, similar. Point. Point. Jesus. It's like I'm out of here like a turbocharged car and I can't get out of here. One minute left. As ever, guys. Come in. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not going to have any more footage if this cuts off. We made it to the end of the dragon. It took us 19 minutes and. 
25 seconds to reach the end of Tet and it's blocked like a mofo. As ever, everybody, stay frosty. Chuck Mung Namoy, have a fantastic Lunar New Year. Thank you so much for watching. Stay frosty. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.